<laughs> a parcel just arrived and I was so excited that it was like hopping up and down and I twisted my ankle hopping up and down. Let's start the video. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, my name is Rose. My pronouns are she, her. I am a plant lover from the Netherlands. And today we have a very exciting parcel, not from the Netherlands. Greenspaces.id offered to send me some plants because they just started importing, shipping, for them it's not importing, <laughs> shipping to the Netherlands before that wasn't possible. So I'm very excited to see how these plants are. I did notice it saying on the box already that it's been opened and resealed by customs. So I'm a little bit worried and it's a very, very big box as well. So I'm very excited. Let's open it together. Now, if you've been with me a little bit longer, you might know that I've done one import before that was successful. You can find that video here. Hey, Mickey. He's on the new scratching pole, very exciting. So I've done one import before it went well but the plants were very very small so that wasn't good and from this box alone it looks like the plants might be a little bit bigger oh yeah let's see thank you get 10 percent off your next purchase this was not a purchase uh, because they offered to send me these plants so it's not an official sponsorship but I did get these plants for free, which is really nice because I was really worried about importing. The stress of it can be a lot. And in this case, I didn't have to worry so much because I wouldn't lose money, which is very nice. Really nice fluff. I am actually planning to sell some plants in the next few days so I can use this to ship them. If you're interested, oh, they opened the plant too. If you're interested, I will usually sell them on my Instagram, in my stories. So this one is has been opened by Customs and it says what it is on the package. So I'm warned. I wonder how this traveled because this is an Alocasia and I've heard that they, they do not ship well at all. But it actually looks pretty good. This is so fun. I haven't done an import like this ever. Such a big one. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever imported before because for some countries I think it makes sense but for here where the prices are quite low already it just didn't feel like it made a lot of sense but some of these plants are very cool. So this is Alocasia clipiolata. I think I'm saying that right. And the old, the two old leaves look a little bit sad. This is yellowing. I think we're going to lose them. The new leaf actually looks really good. So that's promising. I think I'll open the roots afterwards. I think I've seen other people do that so that you don't have to wait for so long to see what the plants are and then you can stay for the roots. I think that's what people do. No, I'm just gonna look at the roots apparently. My curiosity cannot be tamed. So if you don't know, I really love alocasias and I'm actually planning to do a fresh video about care for them. I have an older video about their care tips for, from me and I actually was also on the On The Ledge podcast with Jane Perrone talking about alocasia care. So if you're interested in that, I will link all of them in the description below. I love alocasias, but they are a little bit fickle. My dragon scale looks very sad right now. My Aslani had some issues and is now completely died back. So even though it's spring now officially, I'm sitting in the sunlight they're still struggling. Ugh, this is a lot of... They put a lot of this stuff on. The stem looks good. It looks solid still. So this is exciting. This looks looks great. Only the old leaves and the... This is a little bit gross. Plant goo. But that's okay. I'm gonna skip this one because it's the nicest one. So we're gonna start with some smaller ones. This is one plant they actually picked that I didn't pick. And it is a Florida ghost! little baby brother for Caspar. It's very juvenile still, just checking because there's some stuff on here. It looks beautiful. I love it when it's still, this is like the simple leaf shape and then we have the little violin starting to show. Yeah, very, very adorable. I love this. I'm very happy with this. Even though I already have a big Caspar in the back there, I'm gonna sit slightly differently <laughs> to save my legs. Are we doing the roots every time? 
I know. I will just fast forward this so you don't have to wait. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Ooh, this is a big one. Nice. Trying not to show you the thing so that you don't know what it will be. So that it is a surprise for you. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you ready? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ah! Look at the size. This is the Magnificum Big. It does seem like a Magnificum hybrid because the ribs on the petioles are not super, super clear. If I've seen them much clearer, more clear. Just checking because I see some bits and bobs. I don't want pests. It also has an inflorescence, but I am not necessarily into making seeds for myself. These leaves do look a little bit damaged. I don't know if that's from shipping or from pests before or something, but there's some patterns on the leaves that I'm not sure if this will survive. There's another leaf on the back here that's a little bit smaller. I'm surprised this made it through customs because there's just bits of like soil and stuff on there. But they checked everything and it's fine. It's beautiful. And then there's a new growth point here. So this is beautiful. Can you see it a little bit? I hope. Ooh. A few more to go. This one. Very long. So that's a good sign. It's a philodendron. I got a bit of everything in this shipment because I wanted to try. I hope you can hear me with all this opening. I wanted to try how different plants ship. For example, anthuriums, but then also alocasias and philodendron. And what's the other one? Oh yeah, also not the typical, most typical plant. Ooh, this looks a little bit sad. Can you tell what it is? Ta-da! It's a Paraiso Paris Verde. It's very beautiful, actually. I love it. I wasn't quite sure about this one, but it's very, very beautiful. I will put some better close-up footage at the end because this, me holding it towards the camera is not necessarily useful. I have two yellowing leaves here, which is normal when you get plants shipped from the other side of the world. I do also see something that looks a little bit like scale. Yes. So we're definitely gonna isolate these just to be sure and treat it or something, I don't know yet. But the stem is very healthy and long. Lots of aerial roots as well. So there's plenty to work with there. Two more, you ready? This one, I've never really had the urge to try this plant until I saw it recently at the Botanic Gardens where I volunteer. Their plant is looking amazing. And I was like, okay, maybe I do wanna try and grow this. <laughs> so this is a Aglionema Pictum Tricolor. Oh, it's very pretty. It is a long bare stem. When this first got popular, I saw this on other people's YouTube channels and they all had it die back to like a, a dead stick basically it looked like. But then finally it started to grow leaves and it's beautiful. I hope I can keep these leaves happy because it's pretty, it's really nice. Maybe I'll plant this in the terrarium. I think it would look very cool there, a little bit different. What do you think? Should I plant it in the big tank? Let me know. Pop this here, last one. Ah, I'm very excited. This is my favorite. And actually it's funny because I had another plant as my favorite, but they told me, sorry, we don't have it. And then instead of that, I was like, okay, then maybe send me this one. And they're like, sure. So, <laughs> ta-da, can you tell what it is? It's so pretty. Oh, it's really, really pretty. This is a queen anthurium having a new leaf come out while in transit. That's interesting. Back here, there's a tiny new leaf. So this is a medium size queen anthurium, anthurium warroquianum. It has a lot of leaves actually, and they look beautiful. Oh, I'm very excited. So one, two, three, four, five leaves. The biggest one is this one. So next to my head, it's this size. I might also plant this in the terrarium next to the other one, but I'm very, very, very excited to have two queens. 
I was so worried when I got my first one. She was such a small baby and she grew so fast, the new leaf. I will also include a, a clip of her because she's amazing, but this is also really, really nice. Very beautiful. And the shimmer, oh, I'm gonna take some nice close-ups for you at the end where you can see the sunlight just, wow. Okay, I guess now I'm gonna open and see all the roots. I'm gonna dunk them in water for a long time just to let them re rehydrate. Yes, rehydrate. My brain also needs some rehydration. This is amazing. This is amazing. Freaking thumbnail, I wanna get a good thumbnail, help me. Okay, stay, 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 yes. This is so cool. Oh wait, yes. I'm so excited. Can you tell I'm so excited? Okay, root time. Let's check the roots. This is a really good shipment actually. I'm surprised how good they look. That is a pretty small root system for the ghost, but I have good experience with ghosts. So I think it will be okay. The Aglionema roots look really nice as well. The light's a bit yellow because this is my kitchen light, but I hope you can see enough. Dunky dunk, in you go. See, this is already too tall. Okay, we're just gonna continue. Queen. Oh, long roots. The queen roots are very long. Some are dead. This piece is definitely dead this is as well but some of the other parts are great so I think I'm just gonna leave most of it on for now and dunk it and then we'll see what happens after a few days in you go oh she's so beautiful I love it mm, okay mag 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 you are beautiful you are wonderful where shall i grow you i don't know i don't know the roots on the mag look interesting i see a lot of the thin thin bits which is not a good sign but there's so much that still is looking healthy like this is not squishy it's still firm so i think it will be okay You cannot at all see what I'm doing. Hold on. Is this better? Yes. The roots of the Paraiso Verde look pretty good. I mean, not amazing, but there's plenty of material to work with. And this was the scale one. Maybe I should keep this separate, actually. Hmm. I found this on there as well, which looks like a different type of scale. So, ooh, did you see me squish it? Maybe not, it won't focus, but that's, we're gonna be extra careful with this one. Okay, now that they're potted up or like water potted up, let's look at them up close a little bit. The Paraiso Verde. I hope you can see because the sun is shining, which is beautiful. Also a little bit distracting maybe. So these, this is the newest leaf. I like the older leaf. It looked very pretty, but it's very frail. This one. Look at how beautiful that is. I have never taken care of a Paraiso Verde. So please, if you have tips, tell me in the comments. I have no idea. This just feels very thin. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Wait, and there's some spots on there that I suspect are some kind of scale. Here's another beautiful leaf. This leaf is a little bit more sad looking. I think it's gonna go. And here you can also see the scale I was talking about because here, maybe in the sunlight it's better. How's it? Focusing? No. Why not? See them? 
they seem to be just on the older leaves that I cut off. So I'm also going to cut this one off just to be sure. Because there's quite a lot on there. If you want to see them, the little red dots. There's a lot. But I didn't see them as much on the newer leaves. Now I'm questioning and looking again. But yeah, this looks very happy and healthy. It's in a separate pot. So I think I'm going to keep it in maybe the greenhouse or something. I don't know yet. I'm first going to cut this leaf off because it's freaking me out. Hold on. Okay, I wash my hands. I'm going to put this somewhere separate from my other plants. Maybe actually I will put it upstairs because there I just have some Hoyas. For now, I will put it on the floor so it's not actually touching my other plants. Here's the rest. Really, the sunlight is beautiful, but very not helpful with properly seeing the leaves. What shall we do? Here are all the roots. Look how cool. So here you can see the beautiful shimmer of the queen. She's immediately grabbing my attention. But down here is Caspar or baby Caspar. And you can see nice white on those leaves and the patterns are really nice. There's a floating root in front of it, but that's fine. I really like the shapes as well of the leaves. They're still very, like this one, still very juvenile. Ah, can you see it? The light is really, wait, 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 I have an idea. Here is shade. This is better, no? Now you can see. So the leaves are very cute. I'm keeping it mostly under water at the moment, which is, I think, is gonna be okay. It's gonna rehydrate. Careful for the new queen leaf, which is here. Ah, oh, the queen. Look at her. Then we have the Eglionema tricolor, Pictum tricolor with three leaves. This is the latest one. Seems like they go a little bit old, darker maybe when they mature, because this one is still a lot lighter. I don't know if that's true, but that is my what I'm seeing right now. And there looks to be a new point for a new leaf on there as well. Then, this is some of the yellowing leaves of the Clepiolata elocasia. The nice leaf is here, fully underwater, just recovering, hopefully. And then back there is Magnificum, also inspecting much more clearly now, just to make sure that everything is okay. So this leaf, I will show you what I was talking about before. These patterns don't look great. Could be like leaf miners or thrips or maybe just damage from the shipping. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep my eye on it. And it's very shimmery as well, like a crystallinum. I've never had a Magnificum before. Oh, and I wanna show you the stems, the petioles, because you can tell apart actual Magnificum from hybrids by the stem that is a square. And I've seen one that's a real one and it has a little bit of a, a ruffle. And this one, these two sides are definitely the start of a square, but then on this side, it's a little bit more like a D shape, if you know what I mean. There's not clear ruffles on this side, so I suspect it's not a full Magnificum, but that's fine because it's beautiful. I think there might be some crystallinum in there or something. I really like it anyway, but this is way too big for my big terrarium because it's gonna make a next leaf and then the terrarium is full. So I don't know what to do about that. What do you think? Do you think this can survive in my living room? If it survives, whatever this is. I'm gonna be inspecting these plants a lot because I am worried about pests right now. This is how I have it now. I created a separate little baggie because I did see a lot of scale on the Paraiso Verde. So I put a plastic bag over top of it and closed it off at the bottom so it doesn't harm the other plants. The mag, I'm still not sure about. One of my friends said it could be mosaic virus, which would suck a lot. So I don't know what to do. I'm keeping this separate, definitely. I'm gonna wash my hands after touching this. And I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but these plants are beautiful. A little ghost, little Igleonema, a little queen, very happy. Not so sure that this guy will survive the alocasia, but we will see. Overall, I am pretty happy. Now we wait. I will do an update in, in two seconds because I am adding it in at the end of this video. Ah! 
Thank you so much to Green Spaces ID for sending me these plants. It's been very exciting unboxing them and seeing them and having them be imported to the Netherlands. It took a long time before they were shipped, but once they were shipped, it was very fast. And as you can see, pretty good. So I'm happy about that. So hi, it's me. It's about two weeks later and I thought it would be fun to give you an update because there's already some differences to be seen in the plants. And I wanted to show you where I have them now because some are already in their final, I was gonna say something sad, so in their final spots, their, their permanent home. That sounds a lot nicer than final resting place. <laughs> so let's look at them. There will be some flickering lights here. Sorry about that, that's this bulb. But the Paraiso Verde lives here still in water in a plastic baggie. It looks pretty good, to be fair. I haven't seen any scale on it anymore. The roots still look fine. It's just living here, so it's getting a, used to a little bit more light. Where I had it before was a little bit dark. And down here, same story, but for the Magnificum, which is still in a plastic baggie as well, because my friend said that it might be that mosaic virus, which of course we don't want to spread to our other plants. This one is also still in water. The roots look great. I think I see some new roots even, so that's really nice. Then in this pot, we have the little Casper baby, the ghost. <laughs> I start to call every ghost a Casper now, but you can see there it's making a new leaf. This is new and there is something on there, but I think that's a good bug. And it looks like it has several growth points, if you can tell. So that's sitting here getting a bit more light. I kind of want to keep the white going that it had so nicely. The Elocasia clepulata, I actually potted up into Leca because that felt like the best. I had it in water before and the water started to smell super, super bad, like proper rot smell. So let's see if I can show you a little bit more because it is in a clear pot. If I can get the pot out with one hand, there we go. I hope this will root and be happy. Can't see anything exciting yet. It's living in the south facing window now at least, so it's getting a lot more light and I hope that will be okay. In the small terrarium, we have the queen baby. Here you can see it's potted up into soil with a little bit of moss around the stem, which is how I like to grow my anthuriums. The leaves are still stunning and looking healthy. And back here, which I'm trying not to touch it, is that new leaf that was coming out in transport. So the end, no, I thought the end was broken off, but it's not just the top has a little bit of damage, but it's continuing to grow. How weird and cool is that? I'm pretty excited about that. Literally all the leaves are still on, it's doing well. The terrarium in general, is doing really well. I have some exciting plants in here that I will do a video of soon. But yeah, for now, Queen is making a new leaf. I'm so impressed. And then lastly, in the big terrarium <laughs> is our little Eglionema baby, which I potted in here into the soil. It looks like it's going okay still. I did notice that that point that was green before, I saw it while editing, is no longer green but I think the new leaf will come out here. We will have to wait and see. It seems to enjoy its life here with the begonias and the alocasias. Just high humidity, Ugh, not too much light and nice and warm as well. Yeah. Big thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members that I will add in here now. They are amazing. I love you guys. And I'm actually gonna see some of them in person tomorrow. And I selected a few more videos for you guys to click if you want to watch more planty content. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel below if you haven't already, and I hope to see you again very soon in another video. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Mwah. Bye!